ugovor spusiti. Kontrolirati za vas da sa šest i osam cilindara koristimo kumac basic i kumac plus kontrolirati. Čekaj samo da te pitam sad nešto. Znaš, za kub basic, da li on ima sve jezike, ali je samo poljski, kao što se dešavalo kad uzmeš onaj stak četiri pre, pa bude samo na poljskom? All language have. Ok. The main difference between Qmax Plus and Qbox Plus, if you want to choose, is only the connector. Inside the controllers are the same. Everything is the same in these controllers. Only the connector is the difference. For one, one installer is easier to put controller with this connector, for the other one with this connector. So this is the only difference between those two controllers. Dakle, jedina razlika između Q-Nex plus i Q-Box plus kontrolera je u samom konektoru i lokaciji konektora unutra je potpuno isti kontroler. Dakle, samo nekom jednostavni je da postavljam sa ovim konektorom nekom sadružnim. Čekao, čekao, može da se ne bacite iz Q-Boxa na konektor? Isti, isti. What's more, if you will have, for example, in your market our older controller stack uh, 300 with this aluminium body, you can easily connect QMAX basic in the connector of the older controller stack uh, 300. Dakle, koliko na tržištu imate, a imamo, ali, starije verzije stack 300 računara u metalnom kućištu, možemo ga jednostavno zamijeniti sa QMAX basic računara. Plus and QMAX controllers. Uh, when we have the QBOX controller, uh, all the controllers from the Q generation has the very fast uh, processor with 32 bits microprocessor. The older controllers, stack uh, 300 and stack 4, they had uh, only 16 bits controller. This one has 32 bits, so it's, so it's faster controller and can count the information faster, okay? And what's more, this controller can read the signal, uh, RPM signal from the petrol injector. So there are several cars in the market that uh, you can, you do not have to connect the brown wire for the RPM. So the installation can be easier. And the third innovation that we put in the Qbox Basic, Qbox Basic didn't have, but right now, uh, has the ESP, ESA3 auto adaptation. From the firmware 2.10.0, this 2.10.0 firmware, Qbox Basic already has the ES3 uh, auto adaptation. Only Qmax Basic had. Right now, Qbox Basic also has this auto adaptation. Dakle, neke od prednosti Qbox računara su u odnosu na stare verzije, jeste što radi sa 30-bitnim procesorom, dok su stari radi sa 16-bitnim procesorom. Očitanje broja obrata RPM-a se može raditi sa benzinskih injektora, dakle na nekim namenima, na mnogim vozima nema potrebe spajati sveđu žicu za RPM. I od firme na verziji od verzije firme 2.10.0 i Qbox Basic posjeduje autoadaptaciju i sa 3. Tako što je prije bilo samo na Qmax Basic plus kontrolirati. Ovo ćemo objasniti kako funkcioniše autoadaptacija. And of course, all the Q generation controllers, Qbox Basic Plus and Qmax has the connection with the Android application. So if you have telephone, phone or, or notebook or something like this with Android system, you can also use our, our application for the Android and you can connect with the controller without the computer. Of course you need the Bluetooth to connect with the Android system. 
Također ova generacija kontrolira se, može povezati s Android uređajima, s uređajima s Android operativnim sistemom preko Bluetooth interfejsa. Jel ja da te pitam, zašto oni, pošto Bluetooth više nije toliko skup, on može da se ubaci u kompjuter da bude, da se ne kupuje jack i ovo drugo?
with start, uh, start, uh, start diagnostic yeah. equipment can uh, read and uh, making uh, changes on the uh, start controller. Start diagnostic with start controller. No, no other diagnostic. Only, only your start. Uh, that one that is integrated in the, the controller? Yes. But uh, in, in fear. Uh, in fear method and system, I can I can read uh, I can read the uh, uh, launch diagnostic and make changes in, in the in the system of uh, of, uh, of uh, gas equipment. Uh, but when I uh, put start controller in car lines, I cannot use my launch diagnostic to make any setup on start computer. Uh, any setup? Any any setup making changes. Uh, to uh, work with parameters, uh, mm, no. temperature correction, uh, no. Only, only stack only stack diagnostic. Only stack diagnostic with stack controller. Stack controller. No other diagnostic, only stack, stack yes. diagnostic. You with the other control, in the other diagnostic, yes. because we are talking about the OBD connection, right? Yes, yes, yes. OBD connection. Okay. So you can connect the other diagnostic tool okay. to OBD. Okay? And you can only read the parameters. You can do it, but only if the car is working on petrol. If you switch to gas, our controller is starting to work, and you cannot connect the other diagnostic tool. Because OBD is like a Bluetooth. The, uh, the OBD can only have one uh, connection at one time. Okay? You cannot connect four, five, six devices to one OBD. Okay? So when the car is working on petrol, yes, you can connect. Can I, can I erase, uh, erase uh, errors? errors with uh, external. external diagnostics? Yes, but when the car is only working on petrol, okay? if you switch to gas, then one of the diagnostics will start to work, the external one. Or
And of course, we need the Bluetooth connection, Bluetooth for, for the connection with the Android system. Uh, what's more about the, the Kematsuke? Ah, it's the one thing that I told you before that this controller uh, has compatible, is compatible with stack uh, 300 platforms. So if you want to change for the new controller that is that we are still developing, we, we are adding some new function, you can easily disconnect the old controller and put it the same con uh, connector, the new Qmax controller. Dakle, stajak Qmax kontrolijeri su biti za vozila sa više od 4 cilindara, dakle 5, 6 i 8 cilindara. Također, mogu se povezivati putem Bluetooth-a sa Android aplikacijom i potpuno su kompatibili sa starim stajak 300 i sa dva računarima, dakle možemo izvoditi i uski konektor ubaciti novi Qmax vezi računar. controller for more than four cylinders. This is Qmax, Qmax Plus. Uh, it, uh, it's the same, we have the same situation like with four cylinders. It's the controller that have more functions and uh, we change the hardware also and add some equipment that uh, cars with more than four cylinders needs. I mean, uh, for example, if you have car with uh, uh, problem with the fuel pressure and you need to emulate the fuel pressure there are many Volvo cars, sport cars for example you need to use emulator for the fuel pressure Qmax Plus has the emulator for fuel pressure integrated so you do not need to connect any other external fuel emulator because Qmax Plus already has this, uh, this emulator and also when you have the cars uh, especially French cars and Japanese cars on the market when you connect the gas system to the car the car is working on gas but the level of the petrol is dropping and this is not the situation that car is using both fuels LPG or and petrol and, but this is the situation when you need to use fuel level emulator Okay, there is one for the French car and the other for the Japanese car. Qmax Plus and also Qbox Plus for four cylinders, they have a fuel level emulator also integrated. Okay? And the Qmax Plus, just like the Qbox Plus, has also connection to OBD, so you can read the parameters from OBD and you can use also the auto adaptation OBD. Uh, Kontroler za vozila sa više od 4 cilindra, 5, 6 i 8 je Qmax Plus. Ima neke dodatne napredne funkcije, od čega je hardware morao biti izmijenjen. Dakle, osjed je kao i Qbox Basic OBD konekciju, autoadaptaciju putem OBD-a. Također, Qbox Plus i Qmax Plus uređaj posjeduju emulatore za nivo benzina koji se koristi na većini francuskih i japanskih vozila. Vjerovatno je većini poznat je da kada vozilo radi na gaz, pada nivo benzina, da bi ovi kontroleri imaju integrisan emulator, nema potrebe za ekstremnim emulatorom. Također Qmax Plus uređaj imaju integrisan emulator za senzor pritiska benzina. Dakle, vozilima gdje je potrebno emulirati pritisak benzina, nije potrebno nesti jedin vlatom. Na primjer, mnoga je ovo i Ford vozila, ne znam, Jaguar i tako dalje. Jeli, samo da pitam još nešto. Da li na njemu ima da se možda isključi benzinska pumpa za te veće motore? Jer traže ljudi da se isključi? Ima. Ima eksterna žica koja se može odvrati, e, koja se može da uvrati šta će rada da gasi. Pa da, da nije rekao, pa ja zbog toga pitam, vidim da je rekao samo za... FLA JC 
are integrated in Cubox Plus and Cubex Plus, okay? And when you have the French card, you need to connect, I will show you the scan how to connect, you need to connect FLN FC uh, emulator. For Japanese cards, it's JC emulator. If you are not sure which uh, emulator you should use in the car, uh, the main information for you is that if the uh, resistance of the float is between 0 and 600 ohm, the float that is inside the tank, you should use FC emulator. If the resistance is between 10 and 550, just like in the Japanese cars, then you have to use JC emulator for the Japanese cars. Okay? So, we will be able to use the external emulators for the benzene, which are integrated in the UREJ, QBOX Plus and QMAX Plus. FLA FC se koristi za francuska vozla, dakle FLA JC koriste za japanska vozla, dakle ukoliko nismo sigurni koji je mlad to treba koristiti, možemo jednostavno izbjeti otpor polka od minimalnog do maksimalnog položaja, ukoliko je otpor u razpol od 0 do 6 ohma, koristimo emulator za francuska vozla, ukoliko je otpor polka od 10 do 550 ohma, koristimo emulator za japanska vozla. Osjećamo se osvrnuti na širim povezivanjem emulatora. And if you will have on the market or in your workshop Japanese cars, for example Honda Accord or CLRV, RV, but the year of the production 2009 and higher, 2010, 2011, 12, Honda in that cars change the resistance of the float. It starts from 10, let's say uh, 10 ohms, but uh, ends in 800. So our controller, our uh, emulator JC will not work properly in this car. But right now we have on market uh, FLI JC2 emulator. This is the emulator for the cars with the year production, right year production, 2009, 2010, 11, 12 for the Japanese cars. This JC2 emulator is not right now integrated with Qbox Plus or Qmax Plus, but in the future we will add this emulator to the controller. Dakle, ukoliko imamo situaciju da imamo kontinu vozdo 2009, 2010 godište ili novije, u tim generacijama je onda izmijenila otpor Ovoga, znači nije više raspon od 10 do 550, to nego je od 10 do 800. U tom slučaju ovaj emulator JC neće funkcionisati pravilno, međutim trenutno na tržištu on u ponubi je FLA C2 emulator koji je namijenjen za takva posla od 2009. tibore. Taj emulator trenutno nije integrisan u uređajima Qbox Plus i Qmax Plus, kako se mora kupiti zasebno, međutim u nekim narednim generacijama će biti integrisan. Just like I, like I told you, the emulator FC and JC are integrated in Qbox Plus and Qmax uh, Plus controller. Uh, it depends on the, on the car, on the situation that you will have with, with the car. For example, if you have the French car uh, on your workshop, you need to connect uh, our controller that is integrated Q-box, in Qbox Plus or Qmax. Uh, according to the scan that is inside our manual. And this is a very important thing because uh, mm, people that are working in the workshops, technicians that are working in the workshops, they <coughs> look at the scan and in the scan we have the scissor that is the information that you have to cut the signal wire from the float. <coughs> but very important thing, we have above. It means that if you connect uh, those three wires for the French cars and from, from the Japanese cars, the information is different. For the French cars, this is the information that you have to only connect the yellow wire to the signal wire and the brown wire for the ground to the float. 
if you connect the same wires but you need to use JC, JC emulator, you have to cut the signal wire and connect the yellow and the green cable. This is very important and this is the difference between connection uh, FC emulator and JC emulator. Dakle, imamo prikazano šemu povezivanja emulatora. Veoma bitna stvar je u tome razlika između povezivanja za japanska i za francuska ozla jeste u tome, kao što je piše, da za japanska ozla, kako je prikazano na šemu, ona vam presjeće signalnu žicu sa polovka, dakle, povezati žutu i zelenu jednu prema računarodu na drugu prema polovku. Međutim, kod francuskih ozila, ne sjeće se žica, samo se žuta povezuje na signalu žicu sa polka, dakle ne sjeće se signalna žica. To je veoma bitna stvar gdje mnogi se sjeće neće da izmogu se pustiti. I to je vrlo, ako se konekte vajers akorbim na tom skem, koji je u našem manualu, najpotrebno je da je da je korektno emulatiti softvore. Uh, I also saw the, the, that somebody made the mistakes that connection was right, but they forget to select emulator in the software. Okay? Uh, if you would have uh, our older harness of the Qbox Plus or Qnex controllers without cables for emulator, it's no problem. I mean, all the Qbox Plus and Qnex controllers, they have emulator built, okay? But if you have older harness without cables, you can put to that pins a 2D, 2J and 3D cables and you can use the emulator. Even if in harness you do not have the cables. All the controllers have the emulators integrated. <laughs> odgovarajući emulator, jer često se dešavale greške da ljudi povježu kako treba, a ne odaberu softveru odgovarajući emulator. Također, ukoliko imamo stariju verziju ožičenja na Qbox Plus, Monex Plus računarima, gdje ne imamo ove tri žice za emulator, dakle svaki kontroler ima ugrađen emulator, samo u starijim verzijama ožičenja nije bilo ti žice i možemo u konektor dodati žice na pinove 2D, 2D, 3D, kako bi povezali. And the last uh, information about the connection of uh, this emulator is that, that you should uh, be careful that uh, you need to uh, always, you always need to connect uh, have the information right here I think, yes. Uh, you need to connect emulator to the measure line of uh, float, not for the supply line. Because uh, there are also mistakes with the connection. Uh, usually, uh, the float has four cables. Okay, and two cables are the measure line, and two cables are the supply of the float line. And our controller, we need to connect our controller always to the measure line, not for supply, but for measure line. Okay. Dakle, također jedna veoma bitna stvar gdje isto mnogi griješi jeste da emulator uvijek moramo povezati na mjerne linije, dakle na signalne linije, ne na napojne linije. Lovak opično ima četiri žice, dvije su napojne, dvije su signalne, dvije su zamijenjene. So uh, if you do not, you are not sure which cable is which, okay? You must, you need to use the multimeter to measure to measure the line, okay? On the supply you will have 12 volts and zero, okay? It's easy. And the other two cables, the thinner cables, thinner cables are usually cables for the measure line. You need to connect them by multimeter, and it depends on the car. On one cable you will have some value of voltage, for example, 2, 3, 4, 5 voltage, depends on the position of float. On the other cable, you can have zero, that will be the ground, or you can have also some voltage on that cable, but with minus.
Okay? So, the cable with voltage and with, uh, without minus, it's the signal cable. The other cable is the ground cable. So, on the ground cable you can have zero, it's ground, or voltage without, uh, with uh, minus in front. Okay? This is the ground cable. Najjednostavniji način kako da odredimo koje su žice gdje treba povezati emulator, dakle dvije od ove četiri žice će imati, jedna će imati nula, odnosno masu, druga će imati plus dva i svoliti, to su napolje linije. Druge dvije žice, znači zavisno od vrste vozila, na jednoj ćemo imati neko očitanje napolje 2, 3, 4, 5 volti, to je signalna linija, a na drugoj, na drugoj ćemo imati ili nula, dakle masu, ili napolje u minusu. I to je ova masa plovka koju treba povijesti. So, the Qbox Plus and Qmax Plus controllers for four cylinder, they have fuel level emulator integrated. Qmax Plus controller has also the fuel level emulator integrated, but this controller has also fuel pressure emulator integrated, okay? So you will, if you will have cars, especially Volvo cars, with the problem of fuel pressure after connection the, the gas system, in OBD you have the, uh, as I remember, well, P0190. I, I, yes, yes, that's right, that's right. This error is, yes. So this error is connected with the fuel pressure. That means you need to also use the fuel pressure emulator. Uh, if you are not sure if in this particular special car you need to use fuel pressure emulator, you can use external scanner, connect to OBD and check in, the, in this scanner if you have the information about fuel pressure. Because there are cars that they have the fuel pressure sensors on the rail, petrol rail, rail but in OBD you do not have information about the pressure. So this car doesn't need the fuel pressure emulator. But if you connect scanner and you will have the parameter of fuel pressure, that means you will need to use fuel pressure emulator. Dakle, Qbox Plus i Qmax Plus računari imaju integrisane emulatore nivoa. Qmax Plus imaju pored ova dva emulatora imaju ugrađen i emulator za senzor pritiska benzina. Kako je najjednostavnije odrijediti da li nam je potreba na nekom vozlu emulator za senzor pritiska, je najjednostavnije da povježemo OBD skener, da vidimo da li imamo u parametru podatak o pritisku benzina. Postoji neka vozla koja imaju senzor pritiska benzina, ali na OBD-u nemamo očitanje pritiska benzina i tu opično nije potrebno emulirati ta senzor. Okay, and uh, when we are talking about the connection of fuel pressure emulator, in our manual for the Qmax, uh, for the Q, Q generation in general, you have also the scheme how to connect the fuel pressure emulator. Um, if you are using the fuel pressure emulator that is integrated in Qmax, you need to connect three wires. The green wire and the yellow wire is the emulation of the fuel pressure sensor. And uh, you should be careful uh, to connect uh, uh, in the proper order. I mean, the green cable is, also, uh, is uh, connected to the EQ of the car, the side of the EQ of the car, and the yellow cable is connected to the side of the pressure, fuel, uh, of the pressure, sensor pressure of the fuel. This is very important. And you have to cut this wire to make the emulation. The orange wire, you are, you are connecting to the fuel pump control signal. You do not need to cut the uh, pump control signal, you only connect the orange wire to that signal. Dakle, ovdje imamo šimu povezivanja emulatora za pritisak benzina. Dakle, zelena i žuta žica se koristi za emulaciju signala pritiska benzina. Dakle, ova žica se sjeće i žuta žica sa računara ide prema senzoru pritiska, a zelena ide prema benzinskom računara, dakle na signalu žici od pritiska benzina. 
naranđe stup, žicu povezujemo na signal za kontrolu benzinskih pumpe. Dakle, ova žica se ne sliječe, samo se nakači na prostavanju. If uh, any car need connection to the fuel pressure sensor, and especially as I told you about the Volvo cars, in our manual you have the information how to connect fuel pressure emulator. So you don't need to find the proper uh, cables, proper wires. We have the, uh, have the information about number of pin that is in the AQ, AQ of the car, and we have also information which wire you need to cut and which wire you need to connect to. So, if you have the, uh, you need to cut the wire of the fuel pressure sensor, you have information. For example, Volvo X90, uh, yes, and you have information about pin A71, you need to cut that, that, that wire and connect the green and the yellow cable. The other thing, for example here, B20, pump, uh, fuel pump uh, signal, and you have to only connect the orange wire to that cable. Dakle, u našem upustu koji imate u softveru, nalazi se, nalazi se upust već vrijeme za sva vozila koj, kojima treba emulacija uh, pritiska benzina, dakle, za, odnosno ne za sva, za većinu. Uh, Imate, imate znači lokaciju gdje se nalazi benzinski računar i broj pina dakle, za signal senzora pritiska i broj pina za signal pumpe benzina. Također označeno koja žica se sjeće, na koju se žica kača, koja je jednostavno to je. Uh, if you will have the situation that uh, you have the car, that manual not exist uh, in the connection doesn't it's not exist in our manual it's no problem you can find the proper wire using multimeter fuel pressure sensor it's not a problem to find cars have um, usually three wires connected to the fuel pressure sensor or four wires depends on the car with multimeter you can easily find the proper signal. One is the, the battery, the second one is the ground. Okay, so we have the 5 volts and 0 volts. The last cable is the signal cable. When you accelerate the car, the voltage on that cable is changing. If you have four wires on the fuel pressure sensor, the last, the last one cable is the cable for the temperature. So, ground, battery, pressure and the temperature. The difference between pressure and the temperature is that when you accelerate the car on one cable, the voltage will change uh, faster. On the second cable, the voltage will also change, but it's uh, moving up very, very slowly. This one, okay, the, the cable that the voltage is changing very, very slowly is the cable of the temperature. The cable when the voltage is changing very fast, is the cable of the pressure. The problem, the problem, can, you can find the problem when you are trying to use the fuel pump Dakle, ukoliko imamo neko od vozila koji nije obrađen u uslo, treba da povežimo emulaciju senzora pritiska benzina, Veoma lako ćemo pronaći koju žicu treba da sjećamo. Većina senzora pritiska benzina ima tri ili na nekim vozilima četiri žice. Dakle, multimetru možemo izmjeriti jedna žica je plus 5 volti, druga je masa i treća ostaje signalna. Znači, ta signalna žica kada ubrzavamo, na njoj se napon, napon se minja. Dakle, to je signal pritiska benzina. U slučaju kad imamo vozilom i senzor pritiska sa četiri žice, dakle, imamo plus masu uh, signal pritiska i četvrta žica je signal temperaturi benzina. Dakle, kako ćemo razlikovati ove dvije žice tako što mjerimo prilikom ubrzanja uh, signal pritiska benzina se nagno minja, brzo se minja napon, uh, dok signal temperaturi lagano raste u toku ubrzanja, napon lagano raste na to žicu. Dakle, treba da sjećamo ovu je, je napon brzo varijera. 
the problem is only with the connection with the fuel pump signal. We put uh, the scan in our manual because the signal from the fuel pump is the digital signal. It's not an analog signal, it's a digital signal. So if you want to find the proper signal of fuel pump, you need to connect oscilloscope. Without oscilloscope, you cannot find this wire, because it's the digital wire. Or, there is one thing you can use to find this uh, proper cable for the fuel uh, pump signal. You can use our old buzzer from this uh, TAC 300 or from Qbox base. There is additional buzzer, buzzer, okay? If you put this buzzer to the line of the fuel pump, the frequency will change and you will have the changing of the frequency of the noise of the buzzer. Malo je, malo je problematičnije pronaći žicu za, za kontrolu benzinske pumpe jer je to digitalni signal i analogni. Dakle, najjednostavniji način jeste da se taj signal odrijedi osciloskopom. Međutim, ukoliko ne imamo osciloskop, jedna stvar koju možemo koristiti jeste zujalica ili zvučnik koji je dolazi u starije ove prekidače na star 300 i star 200 i tako da. Kada pobježimo taj zvučni na, na signalnu žicu od, od pumpe benzina, dobit ćemo promjenu frekvenciji, čućemo u tu promjenu frekvenciji, na taj način možemo odrijeti, odrijeti kontrolu žicu. Ok, and right now uh, we have only information about the emulators, fuel and the pressure emulators. And right now some information about uh, our advanced, two advanced functions in controller. One of them is additional petrol and the second one is auto adaptation. Additional petrol. There are, uh, there are cars on the market that they have problems with the clearance of the wells. Okay? When the car is working on uh, LPG, the temperature uh, is higher and you can have the problems with the wells in the car. So, you can use lubric lubrification. With, uh, you can add some uh, oil to that, uh, with the lubrificant to, to, the, to the engine. Or, you can use our function that is in uh, every cube generation controller. I need uh, a benzene. It's additional petrol. Okay? And you can you have two options. You have two options when you are using the additional petrol. One option is the map that you can put values on, on that map, or you can use the manually uh, the op option of the manually putting the uh, values in our software. Okay? Uh, u generaciji jeste dodavanje benzina. Kao što svi znamo, imamo na tržištu vozila koje imaju probleme sa zazorom ventila, sa mekanim sicevima ventila, jer kada vozila radi na gaz, počne da pravi probleme. Dakle, postoji dvije varijante, možemo da dodamo podmazivanje, to jeste kapalice, ili da uključimo opciju dodavanja benzina. Ovu opciju možemo uključiti na dva načina, da postoji mapa za dodavanje benzina, i postoji u softveru opcija gdje se ručno upiše dodavanje muzicača. Ok, so, in the software, in the uh, advanced options of the, of the software, you have the, um, the field that is called uh, additional petrol on serving diobenzina. Di 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 uh, ok, and in this, uh, this part of the software, you have three options. The first option it is a minimal petrol injection time, the second option is minimal RPM, and the third one is the uh, time. Time. Ex injection time of the petrol. That's right. So, how it works? Because uh, the technicians have problems because mm, they, didn't, they don't know 
uh, which value, if you put, for example, here, here 12, 10, 9, or something like this, it means 10 milliseconds, 12, 13, or something like this. No, it's not working this way. It's working a uh, different way. Uh, look at this uh, example. If you put in the minimum petrol injection time 7 milliseconds, it means in our map, uh, on above of the map, you have the value that, that you put here. So if you put 7, it's starting adding petrol from 7 milliseconds of petrol injection. If you put 3500 RPM, that means that system will start to put uh, petrol starting from 3500 and go higher. So you have this field marked right now. And the third option is the uh, petrol injection one. As uh, how many petrol you want to add. Okay? So here in the example is 1.5 milliseconds of petrol. If you put 1.5 milliseconds of petrol, system will automatically create this map. Okay? So, look at the example. Uh, 1.5 milliseconds means 10% of 15 and we have 1.5 milliseconds. 13% of 11, you can calculate, use calculator, you will have 1.5 milliseconds. 9% of uh, 18, you will have 1.5 milliseconds of petrol. Dakle, ukratko, kako, kako radi ova funkcija? U naprednim rešavanjima imamo opciju da zadamo dodavanje benzina. Dakle, prva, prva stavka je e, vrijeme, benzinsko vrijeme u izgledanju ispod, ispod kojeg se neće dodavati benzina. Dakle, u ovom slučaju, od, kada je benzinsko vrijeme 7 milisekundi i više, ubacivat ćemo ben, dodati benzin. Također, ograničenje ispod 3,5 hiljade opita je u ovom primjeru neće se dodavati benzin. Dakle, dodavanje benzina ide iznad 3,5 hiljade opita kada je benzinsko vrijeme iznad 7 milisekundi. Treća opcija je u biti koliko želimo da dodamo benzina, u ovom slučaju to je 1,5 milisekundi, dakle kozla radi na gaz, dodajemo iznad 3,5 hiljade obrtaja još 1,5 milisekundi ubrzgavanja benzina. Kada ovo zadamo, sistem će automatski izraditi ovu mapu koja, koja je u biti procentualna mapa, dakle imamo primjer kada je vrijeme, benzinsko vrijeme 15 milisekundi, dodajemo 10%, to jeste 1,5 milisekunda. Benzina. Kada je benzinsko vrijeme 11, to da je 3, on bit, da je 13 posto, to je opet jedna i pomjeli sekunda koje smo mi zadali. Dakle, po mene ne treba da se zamaramo ovom mapom, jednostavno zadamo ovom funkcije, sistem sam izradi mapu i to. Ne se zna za koje auto to? Znam, nego su oni nešto ispitivali pa znaju ili kako? Pa znam, razumijem ja tebe. A što bi se mi mučili, bolje da nam kaži? Postoji popis voziva za koja je potrebno. On ima svoj voziv, odporijet će vam kartice, pa možete ga kontaktirati mailom. Ne, ok. Ok, to, to. What is the purpose of adding extra fuel in LPG? What is the purpose? How can I find the problem with them? I must to add some extra fuel into the RPG system. <laughs> Ima ovo što je rekao da će da nam da. Znači, drugačiji način ne postoji to se postoji. Pa da, oni znaju to i... Ali, u kojim parametrima znaš da nije u redu, ne 
Na prekidaču nešto. Ne treba. Ništa. Zato što pre bilo da se prikaže na prekidaču. Ovo je da zavara počet s tego i da pola bi glavu što prošli benzinke. I would like to, to 
explain well uh, in our is uh, our tool function of auto adaptation. Depends on the controller and depends on the connection. You can use the uh, OBD auto adaptation or ESA3 auto adaptation mode. Okay? When the car has a connection with OBD and you can read all the uh, all the parameters of, of OBD that our system needs, you can use the OBD uh, auto adaptation. If you do not have the connection with OBD, you can use ESE3 uh, auto adaptation mode. Okay? Uh, okay, and, and the most uh, the thing that you need to know if you, you want to use OBD auto adaptation mode is that our controller needs to have status of the engine, temperature of the engine, short trim, long trim, and depends of the options, also readings from Sonda Lambda. Okay, these are the parameters that our controller needs to have if you want to use the out out OBD auto adaptation. OBD auto adaptaciju ili ISA 3 auto adaptaciju. Da bi OBD auto adaptacija radila, kontroler mora biti stan, mora očitati temperaturu motora, kratkoroš i dugoroš i trim i na nekim verzijama i parametar sa lambda sonda. Parametar sa lambda sonda je potrebno imati kada ćete imati auto adaptaciju u open loop. This, uh, if you mark the, that field. Why? Because when car is working in the closed loop, the system is checking the uh, short trim and the long trim corrections. If car is working in open loop, system stops to read the SDFT and LTFT correction and starts to read the sonda lambda sensor. So that's why you need to have signal from sonda lambda if you want to use auto adaptation in open loop. Dakle, podatak lambda sonda nam treba koliko hoćemo da koristimo auto adaptaciju kada je vozlo u režimu otvorenih petlji. Dakle, kada je sistem radi u zatvorenoj petlji, kontroler prati parametre kratkoročnog i dugoročnog prima i prema tome se porešava. Po slučaju kada je u otvorenoj petlji, dakle, kontroler zanimaruje trimove i koristi parametra lambda sondi preko skori govor. Ok, and uh, there are two, there are two uh, options that uh, you can use the points of the car. For example, if you have engine with magnetic Marelli IQ, for example in Fiat cars, you can find out that the correction in these cars are not normal. You can uh, connect the OBD scanner and you have the correction uh, around uh, 80%, 90% or something like this. This is not the normal correction, normal correction you have uh, no more than 25%. So in this situation you can use the correction reduction. You can uh, put the value here, 1, 2, 3, 4, to have the readings, normal readings. For example, 3% not 50%, okay? Something like this. And uh, inverted STFT you can use when you have the cars when the mixture reach is with the minus. And the uh, lean reach you have with the plus. In different uh, when the corrections are inverted. There are also, uh, you can find it magnetic morality controllers. Dakle, jedna funkcija koju možemo koristiti je recimo specifična za naprimjer magnetni marelij i benzinski računari koji se uporaža nekim vjetima, jeste redukcija korekcije, dakle, ukoliko ima počitanje krimova, recimo, nenormalno 80%, 50%, koristimo opciju redukcije i korekcije kako bi imali pravi prikaz stvari krimova. Također, jedna od opcija na istim tih kontrolirama je kada imamo invertovane trimove, dakle da obratno pokazuje bogatost i romašnost mjesto, 
koristimo opciju za invertovanje trimova. Samo još nešto, pitaj ga slučajno da upališ ili fabrički da je tako upaljeno nešto, da li može da utiče na pogoršanje? Da slučajno upališ tu opciju? Da, da, jer se dešavao neki put da je upaljena neka opcija. Slučaj nisam mogo, pa da, morao sam zove Miloša da bi mi rekao šta je problem. I onda sam kad se isključio, onda je bilo okej. Ha, 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 ha.